Get on your bellies. Bury your face in the sand or take a nap. Oh, Let's cover yeah. these babies up. Let's let them go to sleep. Stop moving around. What are you doing? It's keeping warm. You look like you're humping the sand. Getting ready to call the medic over here, you little freak. I know I come across as a hard ass, but I do care. Listen, if you guys decide to take the same path as the individuals that just, what they just did, all right, take this time for some reflection and think about what you've learned from this class, OK? This class is not just about us just putting you down and beating you down, OK? We are always trying to instill some type of core value or some type of meaning, OK? It's pointless just to beat people. That's not what we do. You're going to lay there and go to sleep. I enjoy helping other people. I enjoy hurting other people. Now, what the hell does that mean? Life's lessons, OK, are not learned easily. They're not. Take it from me, man. I know. They're not. I will, I will tell you a story. Uh, tenth grade, after a basketball game, I was in a car accident. My best friend died in front of me. I was with his girlfriend. I was with my girlfriend and another girl. I decided to take a back road on an icy night. Hit some ice, started sliding around. Car flipped, he went through the floorboards. My girlfriend broke her back. The other two girls were injured seriously. Couldn't find my buddy. He's calling for me. He was trapped under the car. I couldn't lift the, the car off of him. And I was there for I don't know how long, but it seemed like an eternity. And finally, they came, they put me in an ambu, and they put him in the same ambu, and I guess he died there, and I'll never forget the smell because they opened him up and they tried massaging his heart, and I was told to look away. So, broken back, death, and I was fine. And I asked God, why? You know, why? Why am I fine? And everybody else is all jacked up. I don't know. I was so guilty and so in denial that this happened. I couldn't protect her. I couldn't protect him. You know, maybe that's why I trained so hard. And, you know, if that situation ever arises again, I want to be able to have medical training like I do. I'm a lot stronger than I was. Who knows? Maybe some adrenaline will kick in and maybe I can move that, that car. I wish it wouldn't have happened. You know, I say I wish I could go, if I went back in time, I wouldn't change a thing, but that's definitely something I would change. I don't know if I'd be the man I am today because of it, but it brought me here right now to give my talent, my God-given talent, which is pushing people to their limits. If you leave this program, you're not letting us down. What you're gonna do is let your team and yourself down, okay? You have to live with that. But this is what I'll tell you. You've already been cold, you've already been tired, you've already been wet, and you've already been hungry. The only thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna turn it up a little bit. All you need to do is take what we've taught you and apply it. The finish line is never there. That's what I want to get across to these people. That's what life does. That's the kind of instructor I am. I'm preparing people for life. So what would I tell them? You better be ready for what's coming. And I'm telling you right now, hell is coming. This is life. You fight. You get hurt. Life isn't, isn't fun always, but you go through it. It's a process. This is the only way that you can find out what type of person you really are.